Let's move on to the Saturday action. We'll start with Ascot. It's a cracking card. Uh, Q card obviously won this race last year, won it back in 2013 as well. The grade one Ascot Bet Fair Chase. Shane, you have a couple of prices. Yeah, for he's it. a much bigger price this time around, Tom. Uh, top notch currently the 7 to 4 favourite, waiting patiently is in at 9 to 4. Coney Island uh, 3 to 1. Q card then 10 to 1. 10 to 1 for fraud on Sporetic 25 to 1. Traffic Fluid 66 to 1. Just briefly as well, a couple of Andy Post clues, possibly perhaps for the festival. Uh, we go 4 to 1 about the Ryanair, about top notch non runner, and about 20 to 1 for the Queen Mother, about top notch as well. Waiting patiently, not, uh, 6 to 1 for the Ryanair, non runner, no bet. Coney Island 10s for the Gold Cup, 8 to 1 for the Ryanair. Q Car 33s for the Gold Cup, 16s for the Ryanair. So plenty of Andy Post. Price cool. So, there. Brendan, uh, you know, we, this close to Cheltenham, we're not expecting this quality of renewal of a grade one race generally, are we? God, I mean, I can just. Do, the, it continues the theme of the last few weeks, Tom. Yeah. I'm really going to get behind this good horses running against other good horses. It's a, it's a unique trend. idea, but it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's I mean, could catch on. This, this, this could really catch on, yeah. Um, it's, um, I, I feel terrible now to just sit on the fence, but how could you possibly have a strong opinion on this race? There's one pound between them on ratings. Yeah. There are three proper horses. Um, I, I thought maybe at the price is just waiting patiently. Waiting you got to yeah. love waiting patiently. Yeah. It's arguable the race um, the last day in Kempton fell asunder a little bit, not as much as Coney Island's comeback fell asunder, but his jump and it was a tiny bit careful, but I think he's entitled to be a tiny bit careful because it was his first time yeah, in that first company. Time back in the world, yeah. and, 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 and in such exalted company, I think his jumping will improve and he'll go very close, but you could throw a blanket over this. Yeah, absolutely. Brian, are you excited about this one, Neil? Yeah, slightly um, surprised that. <coughs> Top notch heads to betting for this one. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too. Do you yeah, to wait impatiently had the wow factor obviously the last day, but I don't know if it's Irish bias or not. But I just look at a Coney Island at three to one, and I just think it's nearly too good to be true. Obviously, he's weak enough all week. He was shorter, but uh, I won't go back on anything just yet for the Ryanair because obviously you don't know if Duvan is going to turn up or not. But uh, yeah, Coney Island is just sticking out to me. He's one of those horses that because we, maybe because we don't see him that much, do we perhaps think he's a little bit better than he is? Or, although some of his form, like his last nice form, form last year is good. Pretty yeah, top-notch, isn't it? You know, after beating all the, running so close to our Duke, beating Aplin, or What the, about the trip? Do you think ultimately he's going to look for further than this? Well, obviously, he, the sidestep the Irish Gold Cup, something that Rick Divins obviously the one that with Ed Wolf, obviously not trained yeah. by Eddie Harty, but... Uh, you would obviously imagine that he's going to be stepping towards the Ryanair if, if they're going over this. So. Good stuff. So, yeah. tentative Coney Island selection. Yeah. Do you have a selection, Shane? Yeah, tentative uh, waiting patiently selection for me, Tom. And I also wouldn't mind a, a bit of 6-1, to one, a bit of that for the Ryanair as well. Not running a bet before the race because if he goes on and wins this comfortably, I'm not saying for a minute that he will, but if he was to go on and win comfortably enough, I can see that being an awful lot shorter come the end of the Ascot chase. Uh, I think he's only been beaten twice over fences as well out of, uh, out of eight starts. Mark of one, six, four, uh, winner by eight lengths the last day at Kempton as well. And, you know, we spoke, you know, the last couple of weeks about, um, was it the beer goggle story yeah. a few weeks back as well? Wouldn't this be It'd an be incredible lovely for story Jefferson as well? Obviously won yeah. the more battle hurdle yeah, as well exactly. during the week. So, so uh, yeah, there, was, there wouldn't be a dry eye in the house and quite rightly so. Let's move on to the uh, Sodexo Reynolds and Chase that's coming up at 150.